Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. You know that Azola business is now taking a leap, meaning that many people now have realized that the culture of this Azola is one of the best things that you can do in order to further our cause in farming. Meaning that if we're gonna operate a farm, we have to think of ways on how to minimize the food expenses in order to maximize our profit. And one of those things that I have in mind, which I've tried and it's proven, is the Azola production. I actually use Azola as 30% of the feeding composition for the ducks, for the birds, for the catfish. You can also use Azola for the rabbits, for the chickens, for the geese, the turkeys, and many more. So this is how important Azola in our farming effort. And today's video, just allow me to share with you simple techniques on how to, you know, massively culture Azola. What we need are only very available materials that anyone can afford. So guys, we are sewing our net against the bamboo. What is important here is to just make a cage for our asola because this asola is just very easy to culture if it's not disturbed by the fish and other animals like the geese and the ducks because there are tendencies that they will jump over. So we have to make a little clearance so that the animals or the the ducks could not get in so i'm thinking about the 18 inches height and we will submerge this around three inches and that's gonna be fine because uh, i know that the ducks could not anymore be able to get inside and you know that the ducks are also very eager to eat the insects that are eating the azola so this is how nature works here as soon as we're gonna complete this one, we will put a frame down there and then we will hang this. And then we will put some weight and we will put the starters of our sola. Imagine this box alone, which measures around 10 meters by two meters, will now be able to produce 10 kilos of asola every day. And I'm sure of that because we already have tried this one. I'd like to place this one along the stretch of this dike so that we can maximize the use of the area and I give an allowance of at least uh, three feet so that uh, we can control also the the trimming of the weeds that may uh, creep so this is it and this nylon is our guide over there and uh, I'm so excited so you can uh, pound that okay okay Hmm. 
Up. Ipa. Okay. Sige. So guys, this is now the final output. We're gonna, you know, tie this against this uh, bamboo, and then we will put some weight so that it will sink in just a four or five inches uh, dip and it's already good and you will see now that this effort would really be become successful in so far as this uh, asola culture is concerned because we already have tested the waters and the water is really good for the azola and we will be making more of this in our future videos because I'm dead serious now about you know culturing this asola because of the growing population of our pets So finally, we have done our Asola cage and I believe this is the best cage that we ever had because uh, it's just near to, to this dike and we can just easily get or harvest some amount of Asola every day. And this is my encouragement. If you have the chance to plant Asola, do it for your pets. And I can tell you that you will not go wrong if you're gonna plant azola So these are all the things guys that we can share. I hope that you will continue to like and share our videos. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, may we humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos regularly. And these videos are informative and very educational. Only here at Dexter's World.